Good morning everybody, welcome back to another episode of Non-Stop Fishing Now. Super duper excited because I'm heading back to my stomping grounds, we're heading back to the Riverland to chase some yabbies. Now, a couple episodes ago, Lawsy and myself had a crack for some yabbies, but the warm weather hadn't got there yet and the yabbies weren't there really to play. But right now, to finish the equation, we've got warm weather plus floods should equal yabbies. Now, I'm no mathematician, but I reckon I'm pretty close to the mark there. So, very excited. So, I'm just going to pick up a mate. We're going to smash the Riverland today, and we're just going to do some yabby and do some exploring. Just check out how much water's around the place. So, stick around because I'm excited, and I think we're going to have a ripper day. So, you, let's get the yabby on. Do a little bit of drop netting. Secret spot. Literally off the highway. <laughs> but I think the Yabbies are everywhere. Oh, look at that piece. Yum. I reckon over there in that corner, one here. What do you reckon, Robo? Yeah, throw one here. One here? All right. Yabby pot's gonna get ripped up. Anyway, <laughs> oh, not. Alright. Right. Yeah. There we go. Right there. Right there, Robbo. That's Winner. the honey hole, mate. That's the honey hole. It's just, that's fine. Right, oh, next one. Highway Yabby, we call this. <laughs> oh. I've already got stuff stuck in. Oh, landed on a carp, I reckon. <laughs> Lovely. All right. Let them soak. Ten minutes. Ten minutes, I reckon. Ten minutes. We left it. Ten minutes. <laughs> hit that, hit that. We got excited. Told a few tails. Now this is where it's interesting. Let's see how we go. Oh no. Oh yeah. Whoa, some. we got a couple. There's a fish. <laughs> Carp. Look at the size of some of those some of those yams, man. Get yeah, hold that for a second, you fella. Thank you. There's a nice one that one. Yeah, a couple of nice ones in there. little tip mint. So we need these little halfy. Half in half out. Does no ring ones. He might just stay in the pot I reckon for now. We'll sort him out later. We'll take that with us though. So if you want to grab that one. Lovely. Pot number two, here we go. Go, go, go. Oh not as many. Oh that's a big one. Grab him. Oh I'll have to start calling you Bear Grylls. None. There's one. Yeah, two. All right, well, what we'll do, we'll go back that way because there was heaps over there, wasn't there? Crab pot. Oh, he's done a little, he had a little flick of the wrist. That'll do, mate. That's where the big, that's where the big guys are going to be. Let's go. All right, let's go sort these, sort these yabbies out. Yeah, so we've got a couple nice Thank ones. You. So, the only thing is, they're all attached to each other, so what we'll do... Pull that guys. Nice. There's a few little ones, but there's a bit of a mix. A couple of small carp there. 
Yeah, not happy. They're not happy at all. But oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, not a bad, not a bad little uh, effort. And they're not monster monsters, but that's a nice little yabby there. So we'll go through these. There's probably about six or seven that are half decent. We'll go from there. But Robbo's just wetting some hessian sack. Now the reason why we use hessian sack because if you fill up the esky full of water and you want to keep them for a few hours they'll drown and basically they might go bad so just keeping them damp is all you need to do wet hessian sack lay it down put them in there unfortunately my old hessian sack ripped apart so i've only got parts of it left but that'll just keep them nice and moist and yeah it keeps them alive for a couple of days at a time so we'll put a bit of ice on it keep them cool and yeah look after them before you do the cook up so yeah just pop pop a little bit in we'll fold it on them if you know what i mean so like if you pull one out and then because then then they can just like lay in it yeah or well, not lay in it but burrow into it you know what I mean? and then we can just fold it on so right oh so that one there he's well and truly big enough yeah. no eggs that's number one ah like be nice no eggs two those two are all right three four five yeah, he's alright, eh? Uh oh. <laughs> oh, they're alright. Six, six seven, eight. eight. Uh, he's not bad. Oh no. <laughs> so they're alright, they're a bit small. So what do you reckon? Keep those? Ah, oh, to be honest. Yeah, we keep those couple. Yeah, right. They're alright. Okay. Yep, chuck him in. I reckon the rest we can get rid of, eh? They're a bit small. We'll get yeah, these carp. Up, these carp will, uh, Chuck in there so that we don't pollute the water with more vermin carb. Because imagine this little guy turns into a monster. So, yeah, get rid of those ones and yeah, we're all sweet. See ya! So, yeah, now with these few that we've got, just with that hessian sack, that Robbo wet, wherever that is, literally just put them on top and that will, and then put the ice on top of that. That'll just keep them nice and cool. And we should be all sweet to go. So yeah, it's crazy to think. So basically, this is like the road that would take you to the ferry that Morocco used to have years and years ago. But now this is pretty much as close as you can get. The highway <laughs> is literally just there. So we are physically 40 meters away from a main road, catching some yabbies off the levee, or not the levee, but literally off the yeah side of the ramp. So it's pretty cool. We're ready to roll, are we? We're going. Are we recording? We are. Awesome. All right. Cameraman dogs work. All right, here we go. So this was the one that we caught a few in the last time, eh? Yep. Oh, no. Trees have got... Oh, there's heaps. <laughs> there is a... Sh there's a big tree. Oh, we lost one back there in the water. Oh, no. We've got yabbies going everywhere. Yeah. I'll hold that. You get him. Shake, shake, shake. Wow, these yabbies are getting caught hard for this now. I'm not sure if I'm happy with that. Get him out. Get him out. Yeah, I think he went back in the water. Oh, that's alright. He deserves a bit of Handy no number tip number two. If you need to get rid of a body. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, just joking. But you can see how they just rip up everything really quickly. I'm just trying to tie this meat in so that it's a bit more harder for them to get out. I might just try. So far in, you see. Well, that's that's probably a good 15 20 to say. Come on, net. All right, next, next one, new spot. See how we go. These ones didn't catch many last time, so let's just see if we get any more. Oh, Fine. no, the lone range. You just load them up on the other spot. I reckon you're right, mate. We might have to just chop a couple there. I'll just leave that one there for the time being on the sticks just to get myself into an issue. Although that one there is closer to the tree. Yeah, you're right. We'll see. You did a little flick turn with this one, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> so, there's definitely a few. Oh, watch that one coming out the side. Oh, oh, oh. Going everywhere. Man, no dance. This poor fella's tied up. Massive rocks. Too small. That's it. Too small. Well, I reckon we might leave that one there. Oh yeah, man. 
I think he was gone from before. This is sorting out, eh? Alright, so that's our haul from pool number two. We'll go through them now. Oh, this could be interesting. <laughs> So we got one, two, three, no eggs. And you always check for eggs. You always got to check for eggs because you want to keep them going. No eggs. No eggs. These aren't as big as the last set. They're more medium though. These are rich. Yeah. Wee. They're all right. To be honest, they're all okay. There's no monsters in Oh, he's alright. Oh, yeah, he's a good one. Just tucked in there. Tails are good. To be honest, yeah. yeah this one, this one here is probably a bit small, so we'll let him go. Right. Yep, we made it. <laughs> Just this one here that's yeah, kicking yeah. around a bit small. But like those, yeah, right. those three will be alright. I reckon yeah. they're all not too bad. We'll just, that one here's a bit small though. Okay. I mean, I'm trying to get rid of it. That's too yep. small, though. That's all right. All those ones are good. Yeah, I think so. We'll just double check the tails. And then a bit smaller, that one. So it's about just, yeah, making sure there's no, no uh, eggs. Because if they got eggs, Throw them back straight away. These are all pretty good. Yeah. Lovely. Lovely. Getting a nice little, little collection of them now. Right, right. Yeah, go, mate. Well, it's tangled, but it's still Yeah, got a couple of them. Just got a couple. I'll bring up the road, mate. Be yeah. easier to play with. Yep. And then just give it a good shake. And... Go. Just that one, we'll sort him out. Right, we'll quickly do a little sort. Here we go. Oh, yeah, he's a nice coloured one, two, three, four. Ah, a bit small. Five. Nice one, that yeah, he's one. A one. He's a good one. These are all starting to get good though. Just, just got, just got in the river. Then. Those two. Yeah, right in the middle of them too. Yeah, yeah. So they're all right. Those two. They're all right. Drop them. So. Hi. Yeah. Right. Oh, so we got. What do you reckon? Half esky pool. Uh -huh. And that's from what? Just a few pulls of the uh, Yabba Dabba Doo Pop. So lovely. Time for another spot. We're gonna do some prospecting. So. Yeah. Right, so we're using the old opera house net. The opera house net's a good one because it's a lazy man's net. This one, why would it be a lazy man's net, Robbo? Because if you're lazy, it's easy to use. Exactly. <laughs> no, you just leave it in the water. You put your, I'll just put these bait baskets in actually, just so then the yabbies hopefully don't rip the meat out. But we're just using some lovely kangaroo because it's real oily and yeah, the abs will just get keen for this. And pretty much, we're just going to heave hove it into the water. So fingers crossed, we can get a couple. Handy tip: always hold the end. <laughs> I've chucked a couple in before, and you end up not with a with a, a yabby pot. Handy tip: take two. Take your foot off the <laughs> other one. Let's try this again. <laughs> Blooper. Yeah. Now say it again. Let's try it again. Take number two. I'm gonna give that a I'm gonna give that probably an eight out of ten. That's a perfect little throw. Let's let that one sit there. Put a big rock on it so then it doesn't move. Alright, let's go. Let's go to the next one. Alright. Still a fair bit of flow. You can see the, the water. Yeah, out further. Alright. So this is pot number six. People. Oh, beautiful. Lovely. That's that's quite deep. Mm. That's good. We've left the oh, can't even talk. <laughs> We've left the pots for oh, I don't know, a good couple hours now. So let's just see what we can pull in. Oh, I can I can feel them tickling in there. Oh yeah. 
There's a couple. There's a couple in there. Have a look at that. Couple of nice ones. Alright, so what we're gonna do, we'll do a yabby dance in a sec. They're actually not bad size, eh? We might have just like that. Yeah, that's no, nice. you still recall. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, nah, you're right, mate. We'll just shake him out of here. And we can sort him out a bit. They're nice size ones, those ones. Good one. There's a big old dark in Big there. old brown ones, aren't they? Oh. Nice it's big tails. One, He's a nice big one. Yeah. A couple of nice ones brown. there. They're a lot better size here. Yeah. yeah, there's a couple of good ones. Put that meat in. First pot. Not bad. First pot. Right, you're up, mate. Let's go. The beauty of it is you don't even have to pull it fast. They're all just going to be in there. Bit of weight. Yeah, it's a bit. You can feel them kicking. Yeah. I'm sure not many. Well, that's all right. Bring it up. Look at that. Look at size yabs, those. Beautiful. That's blue. blue. Alright, so what we're gonna do. You ready, Robbo? You gotta be fast, mate. Here we go. Open that up and then we start picking them up. Checking the rigs. Lovely. Lovely. Some beautiful yabbies here. Ah, too small. These ones are a bit small, these ones. Might just that one's too small, that one's too small. That's alright. And that one seems alright too. Um, that meat's been smashed a bit, but I think it'll be alright. Right. So there you go. A couple of pots, a couple of pots. Alright, here we go. Oh, another carp. Carp are everywhere. Oh, you can feel them kicking in there, eh? Yeah. Holy moly, I've got a feeling this one's going to be loaded. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good one. Shit. What do you reckon? Look at that for a net. There's a good, probably what, 30 abbeys there. Yeah, some good ones. All right, so let's get that there. Try and video a few of these getting picked up, eh? All right, here we go. Let's see how fast we can go. One, two, three, two small, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. That's 11. We haven't even got halfway through yet. Let's get to these ones. Oh, look at this guy. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, too small, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24, 25, yeah, 26, 27, 28, 29. 29 of the, the, the good ones. Mm. Put a little bit of fresh rule in this, I reckon. You'll be able to feel them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Holy moly. Bring it up here, mate. Let's have a little look see. <laughs> Holy. This is even big. Whoa. I can feel some kicking, but I don't know. Oh wow! Oh, that's a good one. Holy moly! That's this is hot of the day. <laughs> hot of the day. Look at that! Holy schmoly! You got some beauties in there. Yeah. Wow! Let's empty it out here. I reckon, like you said, maybe because of the bait. Yeah, I think it was. Look, the bait's gone in here as well. <laughs> See, it's just there. All right. One. Oh, this one. Two. Look at that, got a couple of ripper, uh, ripper ones. That's a that's a bucket full there. Right oh, this is the second pull of the day. Second <laughs> pull of the day. See how we go. Come on. Yabby. Oh, he's pulling them up quick. He's not letting them get out. Oh, you you just dragged in a handful Sorry. of mud there, mate. Bring him over. We'll use this as a bit of a ledge so then they can't escape. Got a couple. Got a few carp amongst it. Right oh. It's a nice, couple of nice ones. Just bring that bucket over here, mate. And... All right, you ready? We'll just take the biggies. Go on that one, 
Small, 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 small. Oh, oh sorry. Small, small. Carp, carp. There's a heap of carp. Yeah, there's more carp this time. That's it. Hey. So this is the sneaky honey hole, aka loser, loser yabby trap hole. <laughs> what do you like? Now, what I'm gonna have to do, big old, big old stump there. Oi, oi. Oh, feet. I'm a bit nervous now. Yeah, so put your foot on that log there. Oh, oh. oh this is a good one. <laughs> Blue for wheel. Oh, yeah, use the log. Oh, it was upside down and all. Still loaded. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little bubble one in there too. A little one in there. A couple of real nice ones in there. Oh, look at that one. That's what I mean. Get out. Tip him. Yeah, we're gonna see. These are all too small. There's a few babies there. Oh, too small. Is he gone? Yeah. A couple of bubs, but then you've got a couple of big boys. Look at these ones. That one's a nice one. one. He's a good one. Look at that oh, one. that's a ripper. Yeah, he's a good one, that one. That's the best one. Yeah, we've had a couple of nice ones. He's got me. Oh, oh, there's one underneath there. He can go. He can go. He can get a baby on there. There's a tiny bubba. Righto mate, let's go. So we've always got this technique of just ripping them in. <laughs> oh yeah, we've got a couple in this one. And there's some good ones in that one. See some real nice ones from here. Here's some real nice yabbies. Look at that, a couple of ripper big ones in there. Whew. There's some real nice ones in there. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. That's why we came here. That's why we came here. Alright Robbo, are you ready? Yeah. Go. go. I'm gonna pour him out. He's a nice one, check that out. Yeah, he's a nice colour. Go, Robbo! Go! 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 Hey! Oh, these are some ripper big ones. Yeah, this is good. This is probably the best one so far. I like this one. He has to go and tank this one. Look. <laughs> Little one. Oh, is that the one you're talking yeah. about for the tank? How good is he? Colour wise. Yeah, he's got a nice colour to him. Oh, look at that. That's only halfway. Yeah. yeah it feels alright. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just another, another lazy 40. Oh, a couple of nice ones in there, too, mate. Check that out. A couple of big boys in oh, there. Yeah, one at the back. That's what I mean. Like, these are some nice size yabs. That's a couple of nice ones. Here's the big boy. Look at this one. Yeah, he's a ripper, that one. That's beautiful. That's going to tank. Off they go. Look at that one. There's no eggs. Nah, I haven't seen one with eggs. Which is, you know, surprising. The amount of, oh, amount of yabbies that... That's a nice big one at the end there. Between the trees. Oh, oh. Oh, it feels heavy. There's a couple in there. Not as many as we've had, but there's a sneaky few. A couple of nice, good that's one. a nice one in there. Yeah. He's a nice big, big, big boy. Yeah, he's a good one. He's a nice one, that one. Break it. Maybe about 21. Oh, there's a couple. He might be there we go. These ones are, oh, to be honest, you know, that one there's alright in me. Crazy to think how much water. So, over there is where the river is. This is all just flooded out. Unbelievable. Now, we've got permission to yabby on this um, levee, so 
if you are fishing around any sort of levee you need permission from you know the people that sort of own them i guess so we've got our permission to sort of have a little bit of a yabby around here so we're all sweet but just unbelievable how much water there is but also also how many yabbies there are check this out what have we got here robbo just a sneaky bucket <laughs> sneaky bucket of yabs right oh so this second little sneaky batch we're just going to pour them in the esky Uh, yeah, there's a there's a couple of yabs in there. So uh, what we'll do, we'll get the uh, old hessian sack, put it over the top of them, just let them just chill out. Then with this ice, it's not much ice left, but there's enough. That'll just keep them nice and cool, and that'll get us back to town, and we're all sweet to go. How's that? Done and dusted. Beautiful. <laughs> Righto guys, we're all done and dusted. We're back here in A-Town, back at home, unpacked the car, gave some stuff, a bit of a wash off. Wasn't too bad, which was really good because didn't have a heap of stuff with us. Now, we got back, dropped Robbo off on the way through. We split the yabbies up, so I've got a few, he's got a few. We ended up with about, I don't know, half a white tub, which is pretty good. I think it's about 140, 150 yabbies, which very, very happy with that. So now we're gonna do the fun bit, the cooking, the cleaning, all that sort of stuff. Now, one thing about cooking yabbies, <laughs> They've got a distinct smell, and you know what? It's all about the process, lots of fun. So anyway, once these guys are cooked, put them in an ice slurry. You know how I love a good ice slurry. So in the ice slurry, give them a clean, and then we're gonna pickle them, put them in the fridge, and we're already done and dusted. And yeah, they're there for us to grab and eat whenever we want to. So hope you've enjoyed, guys. It has been so much fun making this episode. Please do yourself a favor, get up the river, check it out, because there's some really cool places to check out, and there's some great yabby in too. So till next time, take it easy, and I look forward to seeing you then. You!